Thank you for coming by Miss Nanda's channel. I would like to thank my new subscribers and my old subscribers. If you would just like and subscribe to my channel, I appreciate it. So let's get to the CVS haul. What I did was there is a deal on these Jolly Ranchers and then also Twizzlers. You can get either one, but I went ahead and got Jolly Ranchers. Um, and I seen one that has 10% more. So try to look for the one if you don't get Jolly Ranchers. Try to look for these that's got 10% more for the same price. Can't beat that. But the deal is they are two for four. There is a $1 off of two that's printing off at the red box. Then also there is a coupon for a dollar off of two uh, for this, either Jolly Ranchers or Twizzlers. Um, you can mix and match. I just went ahead and got the Jolly Ranchers. And you will actually pay um, uh, $2 for these. It'll be $2 for these. And I just thought this was a good deal because you're paying two for four and then the dollar's off and then they two for, you might as well say two for two dollars. Then there's a deal right here on the Colgate. You can, um, when you purchase one, they are $3.99 if they're ringing up. There is a $2 off coupon for one that is actually in last week's S'more Source, I believe. You can go on Coupons Tom and look to see and it'll tell you, just put the information in as far as Colgate coupon and it'll tell you where coupons are in the either S'more Source or Red Plum, but I'm believing it's in the S'more Source. Uh, when you buy one for $3.99, then um, you can get a $2 um, extra car buck. So it's a limit of two. I went ahead and maxed it out and got um, paid, uh, $2 off for this one, $2 off for this one, and once uh, everything was over with, I got a $4 extra card, extra card buck back. So for all of this, and then also I had a $5 uh, extra card buck uh, from last week's deal, and I used that on there. And then what I did was my subtotal was $0.98, cents, but I paid out of pocket $1.70. You can't beat that for all of this for just 98 cents. That is so good. So here is my receipt. That you can see. And um, what happened, there was a um, kind of like a, it wasn't a mix up, but it was my extra card buck was acting crazy. Um, I had to call the girl, what the girl did was she rung up everything and it was telling me that I owe $6 and something cents. And I was like, $6 and 70 cents. And I was like, no, I shouldn't owe no $6 and 70 cents because I have a $5 extra car buck. But when she rung it up, it attached it to my uh, transaction, but then uh, it voided it off. So I sit there and watched and I was like, no, I said, it took it, it came on there, but then it's, it's voided. So the girl went and got another cashier because I think she was kind of new, but she was still nice. So they rerung my whole transaction up again because they voided it out. Then they rerung it up again. Then my extra uh, care buck was not even there. My five dollar extra care buck was not even there. So she had she had to get the manager. So the manager came up and she was like. I can't override anything because they they took that away from us as far as overriding anything. So what she's going to have to do is call corporate. So I was like, well, I'm going to call corporate right now because I looked at the time and I seen what time it was. And I said, I'm going to call corporate right now. So I got corporate on the phone. Corporate came. They said it. And then she was like, well, I do see your $5 extra car book on there. I said, yes, but the store can't see it no more. And I explained what happened. And she was like, okay. She said, well, what I can do is give you the school number and they can um, actually key that in and it'll pull up my five dollar extra car buck so make a long story short uh i i gave them the the girl gave me the school number i gave it to them um um and my transaction went by fine after that but the thing of it is if you all can and it's during the day call corporate right then and there ask to see if you can if that happens to you all get the school number have them to press the school number in 
and then it, everything should work. Um, if you can, you at nighttime and it happens, I can understand that you have to call in the morning. But what I did was I went ahead and did it right then and there. I wasn't leaving out of the store because I was like, I'm going to do my transaction now. And I want to get, get it done. So make a long story short, everything went fine. And here is my, uh, my CVS haul. So if you would just like and subscribe to my channel, I appreciate it. And thank you for coming back. Miss Nanda's channel.